We're going to turn to our GMA cover story. John Tesh has been entertaining us for more than three decades. He was a fixture on TV for years. As the host of Entertainment Tonight, in addition to being a Grammy-nominated musician, composer, and radio host, he's also lived through cancer, and he just revealed that the rare form of prostate cancer he was first diagnosed with five years ago came back last fall. He is joining us live this morning in his first TV interview about it. And John, we want to say good morning to you. Thank you for joining us. Uh, thank you. It's good, good to be with you. This is, uh, I don't remember television. It's been so long. <laughs> well, we, we remember you. How about that? Well, you, you always, always. So, so tell us, how are, you, how are you feeling right now? I'm feeling great. I'm feeling great. I feel like I've been through it, but, uh, but I'm feeling great. Thank you. And that is good to hear. When did you realize that your cancer had returned? Well, it all started in 2015 with, uh, with a rare form of, of, of aggressive cancer. And then there were a couple of recurrences. But in October of 2020, right in the middle of the, of the pandemic, all of a sudden I started feeling uh, some really serious pain in my, in my pelvis. And I thought, you know, at my age, maybe I just pulled a groin muscle or something. I don't know. I started ignoring it. And then it got worse and worse. And what happened was I ended up, I couldn't sleep and I, I, I was mm. sleeping, you know, in my office with my, with my head on the desk and went for a scan. And it, uh, it turned out that, uh, that the cancer had returned with a, with, with a vengeance. And the, the, the scan showed that there were, uh, there were tumors, you know, wrapped around my pelvis and one of them was strangling my, uh, my right kidney. So it, it got serious real quickly in the middle of COVID. And, and, and when you were first diagnosed some years ago, you were told that your cancer was terminal. At, at, that, at that time, you started drinking heavily. You were taking painkillers to help you get through it. And how did you get out of that place? Yeah, uh, I have to say my wife uh, of 30 years, Connie Selica, mm -hmm. was, uh, was really, uh, I mean, she was just such an advocate for me. And, 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 and uh, what happened was uh, it, not right away uh, did, I, did I act like this. I fought hard at the, at the beginning, and then when the cancer came back, uh, it was just like somebody had slammed the door in my, in, in my face. And what happens is, what happened for me is that I, I just became, Michael, I became a, a cancer patient. I realized that I could pretty much get whatever I wanted. I mean, when we were, when the first diagnosis came through, uh, we were told to get our, Connie and I both were told to get uh, our, my affairs in order. Mm. And so hope was, was not something that was, that was prevalent in my life at that, you know, at that point. And so what happened was I just started, you know, you can get, whatever you want from your doctor for pain and i was in a fair amount of pain and then i was chasing it with uh with with scotch and at a certain point uh connie and i we just sort of came toe to toe and she uh, connie is a is a is an italian pretty much a weaponized italian because she's from the bronx <laughs> and she just said basically sent the message to me clear clearly that uh she was not going to abide this and that she had invested in me and in our relationship and, and in my health and uh and really sort of gave me and you know and and ult ultimatum you need to get you need to get straightened out and, and 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 i knew that she had invested all all of that time and and, and intelligence into getting me healed and uh, and 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 from that point on i realized that i really needed to stop feeling sorry for myself in the middle of my pity party and and, and get busy trying to, to make my way through all of the suffering and I, I think every, anybody can understand, you know, having, having that pity party for yourself. We know Connie was weaponized with love. That's how you have to look at it. it, it I like that. I like that. It, it, you found out that the, cancer, um, that the cancer was back. How did you handle it differently this time? You know, in, in October, what had, what had happened is I had, been, uh, I had been through so much suffering. And, and I, but I understood that that if I if I I mean we went we went through this Connie and I both together with a two pronged approach it was using you know very smart doctors but also cooperating with God where, where we knew from from uh, reading scriptures about healing Mark eleven twenty three uh, Proverbs eighteen twenty one uh, life and death are in the power of the tongue that that God wanted me well and so we given that promise we could see me on the on the other other side of it and so it was a Having been in the trenches of fighting this this deadly aggressive disease, 
I knew that, that with, with Connie's help and with, and with God's cooperation, as I said, that, that there was, I could see myself on the other side of it. And it's so important. I stopped talking about myself as a cancer patient. Uh, we, you know, together we, we would pray with the understanding that, that God wanted me well. And that was the promise in the, in the scriptures. And we, we, we just worked as a team. And, and you know, cancer like this uh, it can, can divide couples, and it does every single day. And, uh, and thankfully, I, I had a partner who was, who was, as you said, weaponized with love. No doubt. And great partner indeed. And John, we, we want you to be well as also. So we just want to send our, our thoughts and our prayers with you. And we're, we're rooting for you and we're with you. I appreciate it. Thank you, bud. All right. Thank you, my friend. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.